What's up, weebs? Heartless here with another video for you. What are we going on today? Today I'm going to be actually reviewing a manga for you. Normally I don't do anything like that. I'm trying to break it off and start something new for you. But today it's going to be a live read and a live react. Why? Something a little different. My friend Nana V over on Instagram, she mentioned a book. I was like, eh, if I see it, I'll pick it up. No big deal, right? Well, it's a boy's love book. I'm not into Yahweh. As a straight man, it's not my thing. I do like hentai. I like the edgier, you know, more etchy stuff, like I've said before, and it's going to be my first time ever reading a Yaoi. So what's the book called? It's called Dick Fight Island. The reason why I'm live reacting to this is I want to see if I can do it and be a mature adult about it and show that I actually can read something besides just Isaka. Alright, so it's still in the shrink wrap. This is what it looks like. Uh, she posted it about two days ago, and I was like, well, if I see it, I'll buy it. Never thought I'd see it. This was in a Barnes and Nobles. Uh, it's from Sublime Manga. It is mature. It says, Tournament to choose the next king of the island is about to begin. The rules are simple. Whoever comes first loses. Participating warriors protect their mighty swords and armor that grows larger and more elaborate in each tournament. But one warrior has to return from studying abroad with a technique certain to force a pleasurable eruption. Is there a competitor alive able to withstand it? Or is it... Death warrior destined to become king. I don't know. Like I said, it's not my thing. I guess a lot of girls and dudes like boys love. That's not my thing. But uh, yeah, let's crack it open and get into it. No idea what it is. I saw one page and I was like, what the hell? Premise sounded hilarious, but uh, probably gonna speed this up. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna show you the inside of this because this isn't gonna be monetized anyways, but I don't wanna get kicked off of YouTube. All right, so one last time. Dick Fight Island. Let's get into it. Well, it's pretty. Nothing offensive. You can show that. Coloring's not too bad. Dick Fight Island by Ruben Ike, Volume 1. Oh, cool. His name's Hart, just like my last name. Even funnier. Looks like it's done digitally. Each of the eight islands is home to a different clan where its own unique culture and traditions. Once every year, these clans send their chosen one to guard the tournament, the winner of which is crowned king of the archipelago. And this year just happens to be the tournament year. Dick Fight Island. Who comes up with this stupid <laughs> Oh, trying not to laugh. Sorry. Okay, yeah. I guess I can read this. Characters introductions. Blanc, member of the Moon Clan, a beautiful but cold clan that lives in the Northwestern Islands. Vampire, member of the Healer Clan, which specializes in medicine and magic. Sakalanga, I can't read it. Member of the Dragon Clan, which is used to rid dinosaur. Oh, sorry, I can't read. <laughs> which used to ride dinosaur-like lizards to battle. Lolo. Chief of the Earth Clan, well regarded by everyone. Pasau, member of the Fun Clan, Sunkiss Clan with a fisher who knows the local seas. Okay. Taling, member of the Fan Clan, a Matriline Clan, son of Clan's matriarch. Judah, member of the Warrior Clan, extremely athletic and trained the arts of martial arts. What? Okay. Hart, member of the Jewel Clan. Born in the most developed island. He also studied abroad. I can't even show you what their armor around their member looks like. It is creepy. Wow. 
Okay. They all have ants, but they're assless traps. Okay. Okay. Okay, that got really weird. fast. I can't even describe what I'm reading.
So far, it's pretty boring just talking about the tournament arc. And there it goes again with just the increasing. So this backstory about the clan.
So the tournament arc started. <clears throat> Sorry. It's ridiculous. fighting and yep Another contestant lost. Never seen sound effects for sweat. Sweat, sweat, sweat. Then it jumps to a person in the crowd complaining that this is the only time of year we get food from all the islands in one place. And I can't even read the next line. Thirsty. I need an adult beverage. These outfits are ridiculous. They remind me of a mix of like, I don't know, I want to say like the Giver. Very biomechanical, but it's armor. Weird.
never also seen any sound effects for kissy kissy smooch. Okay. foot fetish begins. I can't even read out loud half of this. The sensor bars are placed really weird with this sensor bar on it, which doesn't make any sense. Another odd line. Ah, well, what do you think? Huh? Oh, oh my feet. <clears throat> uh huh. I've got you, and my slick hands are gliding. Is this all you have for me in your ultimate technique? ultimate technique. I win. fighting for the third fight and yep
That's cute. There's a the little dragon. And nope, can't even show it to you because of what's on the other page. Okay. Okay. And what it seems is the main character is having a flashback and he's with his teacher. But it's for the great dragon term, so it's okay. He's just training. And I like on the background, it's the whole clan, like all the different clans and they, um, from all the islands, men, women, young, old. It's pretty lewd. It's kind of f I've never seen speed lines drawn like that before on a deck. Okay. Some uh, next level I've never seen before.
main character is saying that uh, his armor is just padded foam around his member. Okay. And now they're not wearing armor for the last battle. Okay. It's a little different, but uh, whatever. And the speed lines again. That's got to be massive with just... Okay. Now they're back to boxing instead of like Roman Greco wrestling. Okay. And now they're calling in the old king to fight. This makes no sense. So wait, did you just sub up for another? That, that I don't even know what the hell is going on at this point. Okay. Really? That's pretty much the end? So the main character, Hart, dropped out so he could be with his teacher boyfriend. Okay. Okay, so the chief said of course the chief would be like you're still too green to be chosen as a punishment you must study abroad for more years with this teacher and the teacher says i can take that as getting an extra extension yeah we have another four years to come up with some way to stay together forever yeah that'll just be just the thing for us for the beginning for us isn't it fun okay so it is a fighting love story? I don't know what the f going on. It totally changed. Okay, so it's three days after the tournament. Don't make any 
any sense, but okay. So two of the contestants are friends. And the other guy just said he really liked him and he wants him to get rid of his goatee. And now there's another guy from the test tournament, I guess, whatever it was, in his bed and tell me how they gotta get lost. Okay. I, I just love how they write this. Might I beg for the honor of training together with you, Chief Lalo? Okay. And the old dude shaved his beard off of the other guy, okay? Or goatee. And that was it. And a bunch of advertisements that I'll never read. Oh, uh, yeah. Gonna finish my beverage. Um, it wasn't bad, it just wasn't my type of thing. So yeah, Dick Fight Island, sounded cool, sounded funny, it's kind of a mess, like a real hot mess. This will be my first and last, uh, Yowie, just not really into boys love, this was a lot more tame than I thought it would be, well... Not as tame as I thought. I figured it'd be a little bit more graphic and hardcore. Also, was a little thrown off by the sensor bars that were randomly thrown in there over um, different things in it. And the story was just all over the place with they were fighting to become the king of the island. And then the old king stood king and the main character that he thought was the main character subbed out so he could be with his teacher. I have no idea what was going on with this, but, uh, yeah. I wouldn't recommend it. Not my thing. What a fan of Yaoi or Boys Love. Cool for you. Tried it. Something different. Uh, sucks. I can't even talk about it just because of the f lewd things that happened in it. And I was, uh, confused with some of it. Some of it was just straight up normal. But I don't get the flip that is That was really weird. Yeah, I don't know. If you guys like it, cool. Give me that thumbs up. But uh, I'll probably get thumbs down. Hopefully I don't lose uh, subs for this. It is what it is. Tried something different. And uh, yeah, it just, just wasn't my thing. I think uh, I like my etchy hentai stuff. But this just wasn't it. Maybe yours is more my thing. Or just regular hentai. I think the next thing I'm going to read is to save the world can you wake up the morning after with a demi-human now that looks more up my alley and really spicy but you never know but uh yeah so if you want you can pick up um dick fight island it's by sublime manga again not my thing it's got the explicit content it is for adults not kids so yeah, um, wasn't my thing, but hey, I tried it, something different. Bye.